Israel, uh, it came out today that they did strike a uh, do an airstrike on a uh, food aid. And I let me go ahead and actually pull this up Wild. real quick. But I mean, like I said, I, we're not going to spend too much time on it because I'm sure we're going to be in agreement. It's fucked up. Right, everybody's is on it? Stage. <laughs> everybody's on the same is page. Fucked super up? fucked up. I don't think so. Yeah, they're approaching a famine, and a uh, uh, and they already have had starvation deaths. Yeah. Literally, they've yeah. had. I think. Israel? No. no. Well, I mean Gaza. Gaza. Yeah. Oh, Gaza. Yeah, Palestine, yeah. bro. They're Israeli bro, strikes is. uh, on aid prompts condemnation and an apology from Netanyahu. I ain't even know that. Yeah, so, our bad. so sorry for this accident. It won't happen again, I promise. Our bad. Oh, but we keep doing it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see here. So um, here's what we know. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel uh, deeply regrets the strikes that killed seven aid workers with World Central Kitchen in Gaza. What we know about the Israeli strike that seven aid workers died, uh, protests turns into riot outside of Netanyahu's uh, Jerusalem home. Um, Israeli military takes responsibility for the strike that killed seven aid workers. The seven aid workers who were killed were known for their passion and for helping others. Uh, in UN meeting, U.S., Britain, uh, and France do not join condemnation of Israel Israeli strike on diplomatic compound. So that's something. Uh, that's right. that's interesting. Well, Fears, which I mean, there's been several calls for ceasefire that the United States hasn't supported, but I mean. Did, did, I, I thought that we did support the less. Like I thought we put out a thing about like, I hey, we, I don't think we officially did. I, I thought think Schumer came out project. and called for a ceasefire. The, the Schumer house. did, I and then also uh, I saw Joe Biden speak on it. But I think it was a literally formal, like formal. Yeah, it was yeah. like a it was like an informal uh, gotcha. endorsement. I think more what it is is they're trying to put some pressure on Netanyahu, say this is our opinion. They're stating it publicly. One because one because, you got to throw that line, bro, of of allyship, right? Well, and yeah, in Joe Biden's in this particularly tough position because his party is very as actually this is an issue that i think the democratic party is actually really split on i think there's a lot of um like yeah, democrat well, like i think a lot of democrats <laughs> like uh just like grassroots people who are democrats i think most of them probably do want to see this stop um but i think politicians and yeah. there could be a lot of reasons for that um but yeah don't have i mean honestly as far as our politicians go, it's been almost a complete support for Israel. Yes. There's been a few like AOC has been vocal about uh, mm -hmm. uh, support for Palestine and stuff. But um, but yeah, so Joe Biden's in a sticky situation where it's not like such a clear political move to go either way. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But it, it, it's crazy to me. Like, like imagine somebody blowing up your car, killing like a couple cousins mm -hmm. and then just being like, yo, dude, my bad. Right, like, like my bad, or I'm fine. You know, we'll, we won't do that. Imagine yeah. your friend blowing up somebody's car and killing well, but, somebody, and just on you, exactly. hey, listen, hey, exactly. listen, yeah. hey, this was an accident. Yeah, and yeah. then, and then, outside of that, they've already done eighteen different fucked up things. Like this is a boy who and cried here, wolf. Here, at this by the point. way, to be clear, this is the thing because this is not. I, I think your second analogy kind of cleaned it up a little bit because um these are not palestinians these are people that are aids so yeah. they're not even like a part of this conflict yeah. at all this is just like a random yeah, person random as that you fuck. end up that's just, just literally trying people to helping yeah, people just right trying to do good. so and then and then and then like some of these tell not 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 the honor how do you say his, Netanyahu. Netanyahu. yeah i always want to say the th but mm. um he uh like that the boy who cried wolf is a thing okay you've already done enough shit so at this point like I, I don't believe you. This whole yeah. it was an accident, and then right afterwards, uh, right after this came out, yeah, Al Jazeera, they're the one like not like the one media outlet out of there that's reporting Thank you. That's negatively. I to Perfect yeah. is now being shut down. You're now banning that shit. That is dictator. That is the fucking that, that is shit. The where it's like NATO, UN, whoever the fuck has to it needs to come in, put some sanctions on Israel. Say hey, listen, until shit changes, until a change of leadership happens, and we stop this shit. We have to put sanctions on you. This is getting out of control. There's no way you can believe him at this point. Yeah. Like, I, am, am I out of my mind on this? <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck are we? Like, what else no, do you I have to see? I it's been going on for how long? Uh, oh, eight for, months. Yeah, since October. Um, um but by, by the way, I, I wanted to say Jay Huncho. So Jay hopped on here. He said, uh, "Bang bang boogie." Bang bang boogie. <laughs> Go ahead, give bang, it to him. Bang bang boogie. Yes, sir. Man, yeah, to be more careful. <laughs> it's like I got the button. 
I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, and then he said, "Great to see you back on the podcast, yes, yes, sir. Thank Definitely thank great you. to have me here. It's been a vibe just having you here, brother. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, you made me argue with fucking Paul today. You really made me hate him, <laughs> bro. Uh, that so might cool. be our you first. Me hate him. That was our first <laughs> argument. No, we've had some good arguments. Like, like, like a that, year and a half, two that, years. For, for me, that's not even a legit argument. I don't get emotional about that, Paul. I know you get a little tight about some stuff. Like for me, I really wasn't tight. Uh, it's just like I said, I thought part of the conversation that it would be part of the fun debate to. Uh, Call you out on calling me out on some bullshit saying I don't watch basketball. Oh, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm but, saying you don't watch women's. We don't watch women's basketball. Hey, Pancho? Yeah, yeah. He said, Yeah, I hit you up a couple times, cool. Oh, I yeah. hit you up, by the way, a couple times. Damn. But... He came with me, by the way, to that thing. In the back. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was there with me. He was the only person that I knew that was there. So he was Sorry, there. Some people worked. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, he was one of the people. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know. He didn't even know. I'd never told him that I told Paul and he just didn't show up. And yeah. so and by the way, guys. Yeah, well, I, I, I definitely <laughs> now now he's here. Now you got to answer for him. You got your assholes. Yeah, yeah you got your assholes when that happened. Deuce, get in the chat. I saw Yo, you, brother. Where you at? I saw you in the chat. Where were you, bro? You have you couldn't hop on the fucking uh, hop in the Audi and uh, head our way. Yo. It's not Audi. It's a Volkswagen. Still, hey, uh, you know it's it's it's, 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 it's a little cousin. Right. That's right. He's right. It's his That's little right. cousin. Yeah. But but again, like like uh, <laughs> same people make it as wild. So, like I, I I don't know, man. Like again, we've talked about this before. Famine is a, is a form of genocide, okay? Mm, okay and we sure. and we've been when we've talked about this, where it's like, okay, God, Hamas did something very bad. Yeah. Okay. Now the argument can be had, and the conversation evolves and, and expands around all the shit that led up to that. Okay. But sure. we won't go there. We can only go from now. I think the point has been fucking made. It's been yeah. more than made at this point, oh. and especially with Iran, because then they just hit something out of Ir they, they Iran's did. blaming them for something, right? Uh, I think actually, uh, so I know the U.S. denied responsibility. I'm trying to remember that story because I did read quite a bit about that. But it's yeah, like I, you're, you're only creating more extremism. Iran, you are right. They had there was an issue in Iran. Yeah, well, actually, but, I think something got hit in Syria. Oh, Syria. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Iran, but but yeah. but but it's like the the the, the extremists are just going to grow against you. Sure. And again, you're not doing any good. So sure, you want to eliminate Hamas. I want to ask you this question because we talked about this uh, in last week. We kind of got into the uh, parallels with uh, Ukraine and uh, Israel. And we made some distinctions there. So I just want to ask you this again, kind of like uh, this being an ally of ours. And you see that we didn't support condemnation. Um, at what point do you think it's appropriate to go against in allies wishes in that way whether it be not supporting them like because obviously that would be taken very seriously from israel if we stopped supporting them they're one of our biggest uh receivers of uh, foreign aid so if we just stopped doing that because we didn't agree with they said that could be an issue so when do you think those kind of so personally things are on the table personally um i'm somebody that it takes a lot for me to to stop fucking with you yeah. Um, I think that um, even if you kill a bunch of civilians, no, I'm no, still, again, no, it's not that. Like, Paul's uh, a ride or die. Um, but it's like there, there, there's a personal way where it's like, hey, like the moment you start doing fucked up shit, like I gotta like like cut mm -hmm. the ties. But then there, but but then there's the political way where it's like, hey, listen, like we have to understand that politics does have to be dirty. Like mm -hmm. there is no way around it. As much as we want the good with shit like this, you have to sit there and go, okay, I believe you. Okay, I believe yeah. you. Okay, I believe you. And then once it turns to like this, it's then like, hey, listen, like there is no more at so, this point. Like, 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 where but do? What, but at what point do actual actions? Because I understand what you're saying. You're like, you be the reason in the room. Like, you know, try to find a exit ramp, if you will. But like, we're still kind of we are. Still no, yeah. At this point, you so pull. I, I would have pulled my support. Okay. Like, 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 it, like, if I was president, I'm pulling my support. Uh, like, but again, you have to do it. I don't know the actual legal ways that you can do that. Yeah. Again, what because we do have to follow treaties, we do have to follow what's in place. Mm -hmm. So you would approach, I guess, approach the UN, approach the NATO. Again, that's where our ignorance is going to come into this because we don't know, yeah. and then see what my avenues are. But at this point, like, dude, like, uh, can do do you, Gates? Do you know how much? Uh, like, do you remember much about what's been going on as far as like how much Israel has? No, not really, because I think that. Around the time when I had first found out was around the time I had my my right stroke. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Um, um, but like you had where they bombed the hospital. Yeah, I you, didn't know any of that. Yeah, you had which which they said was where Hamas was hiding out, and yeah. that they were stockgating everything there, and it wasn't really a hospital. That was just a facade. And yeah. then you have 
where civilians once, I mean, what we're getting reported multiple times a week are just getting bombs struck on them, getting shot in the street. Yo, uh, Ian, what's up, my man? Uh, yo, no, Ian, what's happening, man? I appreciate you for hopping in the comments on Instagram. Make sure I'm coming through uh, crispy and clear, man. I like yo, to yo. I like to be sure. By the way, Kent is in the building, so Kent, you know Ian. Say shout out to Ian, man. Come on. What up, bro? Got to be more careful. I think bang, I bang, you up one day. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got you. I don't know. But yeah, no, Kent's in here podding with us for uh, uh, the first time in a minute, so it's been a cool little, it's been a cool little vibe for sure. Um, but yeah, here, let's move on, because I want to try to get some yeah. more stuff in here with Kent uh, right before he heads out. Um, well, one thing, this just seems appropriate a- as we segue. <laughs> no, it's Paul's queen right there, man. Uh, no, just no. Yeah, let's get out of there, you know. I mean, but we can't talk about this kind of shit without bringing up Benghazi. Hello, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into uh, which you know, uh, some people did vote down the, the funding for more security.